Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be going over how to do a kit upgrade system. Now I don't even know if I made a video on kits, um, so if I haven't, they're pretty easy to make. Uh, pretty much just create an inventory when you click that item, it gives you items. Uh, Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Uh, I, I think at this point a lot of you guys should know how to do that kind of stuff. Um, but I already have a few things set up here. So we have a uh, just create an instance of my uh, main class, which I've already had set up on here. So that's just how I'm going to do it for this video. Should use dependency injection. It's always the best. But this way it works just as fine for you know tutorial purposes. I have a hash map that has UUID as the key and the kit upgrader as the value. And the kit upgrader is just basically an encapsulation class uh, which has the damage level and XP. I'm only going to show you guys how to do one. Um, upgrade for a kit and that's just going to be damaged just for the sake of time I don't need to show you guys this step over and over and over again once you learn how to do this once you know how to do it for everything else uh, then we have a public uh, commands and kits and then we instance them right here on enable and we instance our uh, hash map here as well so first things first is we're going to go to our kits class which and here I already have the instance of the main class and two items which is kit upgrade and damage upgrade and I don't think I've said it, but uh, if you guys are having trouble, all the code should be available for you guys on GitHub. But uh, let's get started here. So we're going to create this first one here, which is going to be public void create inventory. And this is just going to take a, a player. I'm not sure why that just took so long. So this is going to take a player player. And then what we're going to... All right, so this is going to take a player. <clears throat> so then what we're going to do is we're going to basically cast an item to or cast an inventory to this kit upgrade here so bucket dot create inventory we'll say no it'll be nine and this would just be called kit upgrades uh, now you can make this as big or as small as you want to it's all up to you you know we're dealing it this way so that way we can access this inventory from another class so that way we can check to see if the player is in this inventory versus you know checking the name of the inventory and it, you know we're trying to make this as modular as possible so that way if this changes in here if we change this code we don't have to change it everywhere throughout our plugin uh, so then what we're going to do is we'll just create a little note we'll say damage item or annotation as the correct term and we'll just say new item stack and this is just going to be a material and for some reason my game or my uh the um intellij doesn't like certain things about bucket uh so i have to manually import them so or dot bucket uh, dot material there we go so it's going to be a diamond sword or iron sword and then we're going to get the item meta because uh, we want to be able to access all of its finer details so we'll just say meta equals damage upgrade dot get item meta and then what we're going to say is we're going to say meta dot set display name and we will do chat color dot red and we'll say damage upgrade and then what we'll do is we'll create a new array list of strings and this is going to be lower and this is going to be like new array list of strings well new array list then what we're going to do is we're going to say lore dot add and we're going to say chat color dot gray and we'll just duplicate this because we're going to do this twice each upgrade will increase and we'll say your damage by two hit points just so they're the same length and then what we're going to say is we're going to have a new class here and we're going to call it check level uh, and this is going to require an item a player and the lore uh, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can create method and we don't have to have it say item damage we'll just have it say item item stack and then down here what we're gonna say is kit upgrade oops sorry kit upgrader kit upgrader equals and we'll say plugin dot upgrades dot get player dot oops wrong player player dot get unique ID 
And now what we can do, we can say if item stack dot equals, and we'll just go ahead and say, oh, not dot hasman dot equals uh, damage upgrade. We're going to say lore dot add, and it's just going to be check color dot white plus current level. And we'll say check color dot gold kit upgrader. Oops, kit upgrader dot get damage level. All right. So now that we have that, um, now you can make this as expansive as you want based on your item. Um, or basically, like say you had a speed or a health or something like that, uh, you could add more to this and basically just do these these checks inside of here. So now that we have our check level, this is going to add another line of lore to our item. Uh, but let's just go ahead and just do lore.add and we'll add a, <clears throat> an empty line here. So there's a little space for, for the level. And after we do that, we're just going to go ahead and say meta.setLore, lore, then meta dot add item flag, item flag dot hide attributes, because we don't want to show any of the sword attributes. And then we're just going to go ahead and say damage upgrade dot set item meta, meta. And then we're going to grab our inventory, which is kit upgrade dot set item. And we're just going to set as four because that's going to be right in the middle. And it's going to be damage upgrade. And then the player will open the inventory. So open the inventory and it's going to be kit upgrade. All right, so we are done with everything on this class. So we can actually go ahead and move over to our uh, commands class here. So let's go over to our commands class. And then what we're going to do inside of here is uh, still still pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and say if command dot get name dot equals ignore case upgrade. We are just going to go ahead and run something. So we're going to say if sender instance of not plain document player we are going to run some code if I can get back to that spot. All right, so if it is an instance of a player, we're going to go ahead and cast that player, player equals player sender. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do plugin dot kits dot create inventory and the player. Oh, oh, PL, I want player. I think it just looks better, player. And we're just always gonna return true down here. All right, so now that we have that, we are all done and we obviously have to set our executor so we're just going to call this method here public void on enable methods uh, so we'll just go ahead and say commands dot on enable methods super uh, next thing we got to do here on our main class is we have to say uh, this dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this this because we want to register all the events that are on this class and now this is where it sort of gets a little bit more tricky a little bit more involved here so we have to just basically create uh, a bunch of events that are going to be called when a player does a certain thing. So for instance, when they join the server, we have to add them to this hash map so that way we can access all of their data in the encapsulation class. So we'll say public void join player join event event. And we'll just say player 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 equals event dot get player. And we're just going to go ahead and say upgrades dot put player dot get unique ID and new kids upgrader and we'll start them at level zero and a hundred. A hundred XP that is. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just say at event handler public void damage event. And this is going to be entity damaged entity damaged by entity event event. Uh, and we'll get back to this one actually. We'll come back to that one. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an inventory click event, which uh, as most of you guys probably know, uh, it's pretty standard for inventory menus. So inven click and inventory click event event. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say item stack clicked equals event dot get current item because we want to get the current item that the player has. Then what we're going to say is we're going to say if 
event uh, get who clicked instance of player because surprisingly other entities can click in inventories I guess <clears throat> we're going to say player player equals uh, an instance of player and event get who clicked and on the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the kit upgrader and this is going to be kit upgrader and this is going to be upgrades .get player .get unique ID and now what we can say is we can say if event .get inventory dot equals and we'll just say kits dot kit upgrade we can go ahead and run something and my parentheses got all messed up over here so if it equals kit upgrade we are going to run stuff first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set the event canceled so event dot set cancel true because we don't want anything to happen inside this inventory besides just clicking but not moving and stuff like that then we're going to say if clicked equals equals null or does not has item meta we are just going to go ahead and just do return now we don't need to put that in uh, brackets uh, it's not needed for one line there and we're going to say if clicked dot get item meta dot get display name dot equals ignore case kits dot damage upgrade dot get item meta dot get display name uh, we don't need equals ignore case we can just get equals because we want to make sure it equals it should equal the same exact thing and then we're just going to go ahead and say int damage level equals kits upgrader dot get damage level then we're going to go ahead and say int xp equals kits upgrader dot get xp and now we're doing this because we're going to be doing a little bit of math here uh, to check to make sure one if they have enough experience and then we're just going to do basically like a um, a scale so for every level it's going to cost 20 20 more than the last right so one would be 20 two would be 40 three would be 60. Uh, that's how we just want to that's how i'm just going to do it for this we're just going to say so if their damage <coughs> their damage level equals zero though because uh, that math won't work this way we're just going to go ahead and say kit upgrader dot set damage level one because you know <clears throat> they're at zero then we're just going to go ahead and say player dot send message and we'll say check color dot gold your damage has been increased by well we can just say has been increased we don't need to get into specifics and then we'll say costing and we'll change this to green a lot of space and plus xp and then we'll just do check color dot uh, let's do yellow so if their XP equals or if their damage level equals zero, we want to go ahead and just add it to one and make it cost just the raw twenty there. Uh, the first level is also going to equal twenty. You can do some uh, quick math, to, and quick coding to change that. Uh, just but for this, uh, I'm just going to do it that way. So we're going to say we got to set our XP. We're going to do kit upgrader dot get XP minus twenty that's how much it costs us and we're going to return here because we don't want it to go any further because it said damage level zero then we're going to say if it's not equal to zero so we're going to say if xp is greater than or equal to 20 times the damage level because that's remember 20 is our raw cost but multiply that by each damage level so that way it sort of just scales automatically now you can have your own uh you know this could be 10 for you this could be 1.8 you know whatever works for you uh we're just going to go ahead and pretty much copy all this up here um but this is just going to be damage level plus one and then this over here is going to be well, let's change that back to 20. so instead of plus 20 we're just going to create some parentheses here and it's going to be uh, 20 times damage level and then we'll just do the same down here uh, minus 20 times damage level uh, now we're doing this check because we want to make sure that they have enough experience and if they don't we want to go, go ahead and say player dot send message 
chat color dot red you do not have enough enough XP okay and then when they do that I think what we're gonna do is we're going to just go ahead and do uh, kits dot create inventory because I kind of want the, the inventory to reopen and then we'll do that down here as well and then for here we're just going to go ahead and say player dot close inventory because um, you just want it to close because they don't have enough coins or enough experience for that and that way we can close it and have them see that message now we're going to go back up here to this damage one which I was talking about which is just a little bit different um, just basically a quick way for us to change the damage value that gets sent so we're going to say if event I get damager equal is an instance of a player because you know players are the only ones that are going to have uh, the this kit upgrader we're just going to copy this from over here paste it up here and this is just going to be event get damager uh, now what we can do here is we can say event dot set damage equals event dot get damage plus kit upgrader dot get damage level times two because remember each thing increased it by two so don't forget that each level increases it by two so if I have damage level two times that by two that's four plus damage then we'll just go ahead and send them a quick message player dot send message uh, we'll just say kit upgrader dot get damage level